Let's solve a Python challenge known as fizz and buzz. So what is this challenge? Let me show you. You need to write a program that prints the numbers from 1 to 100. Pretty simple. However, anywhere you find that number is can be multiplied by 3. In that place, you have to replace that number with a word called fizz. If it is multiplied by 5, for example, 5, 15 and things like that, then you should be replacing that with the word buzz. You should not print 5. You should print buzz. For numbers that are multiplied by both, for example, 15 can be multiplied by 3, can be multiplied by 5. So in that case, those kind of numbers, you have to print fizz and buzz. Now, to do this, let's first print 1 to 100. Pretty simple, I'll write a 4 i in range and I'm going to define a range 1, 101 and I'm going to say print i. Now if I do this and try to run the code, what would happen? I would see the numbers are getting printed from 1 to 100. Okay, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 until 100 it has printed. So first thing we have achieved. Now what is the condition here? If the number can be multiplied by 3, 5 or 3 or 5, then it should use the words fizz, buzz or fizz buzz. Now for this what I am going to do, before printing we would do a check. What is the check we will do? If i is, if I use a modular symbol, and I say i is divided by 3, then if the reminder is equals to 0 and I'll use and i modulus 5 reminder becomes 0. In that case, what you do, you print fizzbus. Okay, I want to print fizzbus. Okay, this is the very first condition. What is the next condition? I'll use a else if, else if, if i is only divisible by 3 equals to equals to 0. In that case, you print, you print fizz. Okay, I'm going to say print fizz. Now the third one, all right, else if, if i is divisible by 5, that means the reminder is 0, modulus 0. In that case, why I am saying print bus. Okay. Pretty simple. So, you have written couple of lines of code. The first one will print fizz bus, fizz or bus. Else, else you print this one. So, all you have to do is simply keep your mouse pointer, hit a tab. So, it is all aligned. Okay, else you do print the i. So now with this simple code, if I'm going to run the code, you will see, if I go to the top, you will see it has printed 1, it has printed 2, and in place of 3, it has printed fizz. 4, in place of 5, it has printed bus. 6, it has printed fizz because it's divisible by 3. 7, 8, 9, it has printed buzz. For 10, it has printed uh, fizz and buzz. And then 11, 12, 12 is divisible by 3, so fizz. Now 15, if you see, is divisible by 3 and 5, both. In that case, it has written fizz and buzz. So the code has written quite well. Now my question is, can we optimize the code? Can I write in a different way the same code? Is there a possibility of optimizing it? So let's see. So what I can do is, here, once I enter the loop, what I will do, I'll create a variable called fizz. Now, it will be a Boolean variable. Now, fizz is equals to when it is the i is getting divisible by 3 and the reminder is 0. In that case, the fizz value will become true. Similar way, I'm going to create another variable called buzz equals to when i is divisible by 5 and the reminder is 0, modulus 5 is 0, in that case, the buzz will become true. 
So instead of me writing all this here, I'm going to remove and simply say fizz and buzz. So these are two Boolean variables. If if fizz is true, buzz is true, then you print fizz buzz. Now here, if only the fizz else if fizz, then you write this else if buzz, then you write this or else print. Now let's run the code, see if it is giving us the similar output or not. If I go up, you see, it has given me the similar output. 1, 2, fizz, 4 is buzz, uh, 5 is buzz, like 6 is fizz, similar way. If I go to 15, after 14, you see fizz buzz. So this is how you, you can think of optimizing your code in a more simpler way, where you don't repeat the same thing several times. Can you use a variable? Can you use something else? You need to think. So thank you for watching. I hope this video is helpful. Please do comment and let me know in the comment section. What else would you like to learn in Python? Right? As a beginner, there will be so many small, small things you should learn as a beginner and then get into more advanced topics. So please do let me know in the comment section. Thank you. Let's meet once again in our next video.